A Watertown, Massachusetts police officer enjoying his first day of retirement today, Sergeant Jeff Pugilese, took down marathon bomber Tamerlan Sarnayev. And after 41 years on the job, he's reflecting on his career in law enforcement and, of course, that historic day in Watertown. Alexander Leslie joining us in studio with more. Well, if Sergeant Pugilese had a choice, he'd work as a police officer for as long as he could. In Massachusetts, police officers must retire at the end of the month that they turn 65. For Sergeant Pugilese, that was Memorial Day. Sergeant Jeff Pugilese says he knew he wanted to be a police officer at 16 and calls it the finest profession in the world to have. It's exciting and you get to help a lot of people. You do have to deal with a lot of bad people, but just the feeling of helping people is incredible. He became a national hero when he took down Boston Marathon bomber Tamerlan Tsarnaev. On the night of the Watertown shootout, Pugilese says the only thing separating them was a four foot chain link fence. He stopped, he, he literally, Look, went like this, looked at the gun, looked at me when we made eye contact, and then he threw the gun at me and hit me in the shoulder with it. And then he took off running towards the other police officers, and that's when I holstered up and chased after him and tackled him. Hugely says never before in his career or since has he had to fire his weapon. It does have an effect on you. You know, you think back, you know, how lucky you were to, to survive it. And, you know, and you just... I, it's just very difficult to put into words. He says what he'll miss most is driving around talking with people and the camaraderie at Watertown PD. We tease each other all the time. We have a lot of laughs. I'm not ready to retire yet. And at his final roll call yesterday, fellow officers and other family members in law enforcement were able to attend. Actor J.K. Simmons, who portrayed Pugilese in the 2016 film Patriot's Day, also sent a videotaped message of congratulations. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.